The New York Islanders have won over 425 games during the 80s on their way to winning four straight Stanley Cups, while Edmonton's Oilers have the best winning percentage of the past decade, and although not consecutively, laid claim to the Cup four times themselves. Who's the better team? Let's find out as we celebrate another edition of the best of the 80s. Team of the decade. Holy smoke. That's a tough one. Mm. That's tough. It'd have to say it'd be a mixture of the Islanders and uh, Edmonton. That's a tough question. I think uh, Edmonton Oilers really proved that they were dominant for a period there. But in the early 80s, the, the New York Islanders uh, were dominant too. The Islanders uh, were good in the early 80s, but I think the Oilers maybe I'd give them the edge because of the uh, type of hockey they played and the uh, success they had with it. I think you're comparing apples and oranges. One who survived on defense and the other one who survived on offense. I don't know if you can compare those two aspects, both dominant. To say one is better than the other, I don't know. Um, how about our team? I'm going to toss in uh, the Edmonton Oilers, I think. Uh, uh, when they when they were on a roll a few years back, uh, it just seemed like they could do no wrong. They had uh, incredible depth on that club, and and uh, it seemed like they had four strong lines right right through. I would say that the Islanders was was, uh, was the team of the 80s. Uh, you know, we won four straight Stanley Cup. We went to the finals the fifth time, so we're there five years in a row. Uh, we won 19 straight series. Uh, I don't think anybody's done that yet, and it's, it's going to be some team to do it. And, and I think that we were basically, we had the right chemistry, uh, the type of team that could play good, strong defense or uh, a very strong offense and, and be very creative. I'm going to sound a little biased, but I think you'd have to go with the Edmonton Oilers because of uh, the kind of standards that they set in the 80s. Uh, no other team really played like them. They opened up the game so much, and I they really think made a statement for how powerful an offense can be and, and how talented that team was. When you're talking um, Islanders or Oilers, you're, 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 you know, there's a lot of similarities. I mean, you look at the, the goal scorers on both teams, you look at the, uh, the leadership on both teams, and you look at, at the, uh, the defensive qualities of both teams. Both teams had to play great defense in order to win Stanley Cups. The team of the decade, in my mind, has to be the Edmonton Oilers uh, because of the way they won. Uh, their Stanley Cups were based upon uh, high, high speed, aggressive game that has become the trademark of the NHL, I think. I think the Edmonton Oilers had a great impact on the way the game has, has gone from, in many cases, a, a, a tight-checking, defensive-style game to an aggressive, four-checking, high-pace type of game. So I'd have to pick the Edmonton Oilers. Well, Islanders, Edmonton, Ian, flip a coin. Heads will be back. Tails will be back with plenty more next week. Till then, happy holidays from all of